Okay, everybody, this is Jim Sinesco with AFC International, and today I got the opportunity, I got a little bit of a lull in my training class, and uh, actually we're training today um, on Q-Ray 3s and multi-ray, area ray for a, a quite a large uh, fire department. Um, they got a call, so I'm like, you know, I'm sitting here, I might as well do a video, and uh, they're one of the departments that actually uses uh, sensits on their frontline trucks, and um, no, no, no problem with that, except for a couple of things. Um, they're designed really for for methane gas, natural gas. So I have a little time here, a little downtime. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a real quick video here. I've got a Sensit right here. Um, you can see Sensit's got oxygen, LEL, COHCN sensors. It looks really good. Um, the setup for natural gas as it should be, because um, this is definitely a natural gas, gas company type device. And I'm gonna go ahead and um, do a bump test. And I'm gonna use, um, actually it's their cal gas that they're using to calibrate their Sensit. It's 2.5% uh, volume or 50% LEL methane. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect up the uh, the unit. Hang on, I'm gonna put this phone down. There we go. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and quick disconnect it on there. And we're gonna come back over to the screen and show you the response, very quick response. As it should at 50% LEL, it should be like a rocket. And there it goes, 48.345. Uh, a lot of times people will say the response of these sensors are super fast. Um, and not necessarily the fact. They're as fast as the rest of the sensors out there in the world. And you can see we're only still at 49. We're not quite up to 50. So our T90 is right around the 30 second mark. And I have no problem with that. That's within margin. And you can see it'll probably roll up into at to 50, probably within a minute, minute and a half. Okay. And this just basically shows, again, what we've been teaching for years, sensor response, time over, over concentration. So that's, that's normal. So I'm going to go ahead and disconnect. The question usually comes up, though, is if I have uh, a sunset unit and I'm using it for other combustible gases. So I just so happen, again, I'm on this little break here, I just so happen to have a little pentane, 10% 10 LEL pentane. So I'm going to let the instrument come back down before I administer the, the pentane. But 10% pentane, according to the census chart, let's see if I can find pentane here. Oh, there's pentane. At 10%, I should be reading 5%. And if you do the math, that gives you a correction factor of 2. So, okay, that's back down to almost the, the end. We'll just go ahead and connect up, up right here. Okay, got the gas on. 10% pentane, let's see what happens. And again, we'll go the same amount of time we did with that methane, right? I'd be only to be fair. <clears throat> I should sing a song, perhaps? Anyway, and you can clearly see without us even getting past 30 seconds, that sensor is basically stopping right at about 1.6. So if I do my math right, Wait a minute, at 10%, I'm supposed to be at five. Well, that's not a two to one factor right there. So that's more like, uh, let's see, I'm not a mathematician. This, that's greater than five times five. So the reason is, is because these sensors are nonlinear and they're set up for methane. And the difference between methane and pentane and propane and gasoline and all the other hydrocarbons you can encounter is a big difference especially on an MOS sensor that you have in the tip of this sensor, sensor. This is why when people always go, why are you so negative on sensors? I'm not negative on sensors. I'm negative on the sensor technology that's used in a sensor or any instrument for that matter that uses it. And if you look at the correction factors that I've done nicely, you can see that we have things like 16.6, 50 correction factors. And it, the list is only about, well, it only looks like it's five or six. They got a lot of NAs there. I don't know why they even put that on there. So again, uh, learning, understanding your tools keeps you safe. And in this case, I think you can clearly see here is 1.4. It's been over two minutes. So it's actually dropping. And that's another thing that we'll talk about on, on further videos. Anyways, anyways uh, you should use the census for natural gas. Gas companies use them as secondaries for fire service because I guarantee you, you will go into other things other than natural gas. Have a great day. Talk to you later.